Hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, Natural Living. It's lovely to see you here, guys. So today's video is gonna be something a little bit different. I actually wanted to tap into the like other elements of what I initially wanted this channel to be. Um, so it's definitely gone down a massive crystal healing route, which I love and is a massive part of my day-to-day -day life. But I also love um, like living organically, as I said, living naturally, you know, clues in the name and one rabbit hole I have been delving down recently is non-toxic living and non-tox lifestyles low toxic stuff all that kind of thing so I have actually been reading um I can't remember what the title of it is but it's this book I'll put it up here um basically about ultra processed food so I'm kind of working on introducing less processed food into my diet and then I'm also looking into using like less toxic products so cleaning products, makeup, beauty products, all that sort of thing. I really want to shift stuff over to a non-tox lifestyle basically, or at least as low tox as I can get it because it's really hard. <laughs> I don't know if any of you are like recently started out on this journey or if you're like a pro and you've been doing it for years. If you are, any tips, please let us know in the comments. It would be very much appreciated. What I'm going to do essentially in this video is I want to show you my recommendations, show you which products I've been using, which ones I love, which ones I would highly recommend that fit into that non-toxic or low toxic lifestyle. So what I've done is I've got a load of, I was going to say a load of crap, but it's not crap, it's good, good shit. So I'm hoping that this will just give you some good like tips on what works, what doesn't. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because this is a route that I am delving down and I'm absolutely loving it. So if you wanna see more content like this, please let me know. Anyway, let's stop waffling and get on into it. So first off, we're gonna start with like toiletries and, and those kind of products. Starting off with these shampoo and conditioners. So I think you pronounce it Sukin, I think. Um, and I've been using these um, for like over a year now. But these products are amazing. So it's a natural balance shampoo and conditioner. So these are paraben free and are made with a lot of natural ingredients in them. So it even says on the back like the list of stuff it doesn't have in them <laughs> so no petroleum no synthetic fragrances no animal derivatives so i think it's vegan friendly which is great if you are vegan um no artificial colors detergents and then it just lifts like no parabens no sulfates silicones blah blah, blah 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 so i've been using this and oh my goodness <laughs> it does actually smell incredible it smells like neil's yard shop you know when you walk in and it just like smells holistic <laughs> if that's the thing it's really really good so yeah i definitely recommend these they do have a facial cleanser which i did use but it actually broke me out so i i didn't continue using that but instead i moved over to this uh facial cleanser so this is a q and a skincare uh, it's like a peppermint um daily cleanser basically and i use this every morning and every evening in the shower and I have really oily skin. So this has actually helped me not break out because I can break out quite often at random points seemingly throughout my cycle, not just like when I'm menstruating. So yeah, this is a really, really great product and it is made again from very natural ingredients and it's very, very low tox, if not non-tox. So highly recommend that. That's quite a new find of mine. Sticking with hair care, I have also been using this Faith in nature hair mask and oh my goodness this smells oh my it's, it's a really really strong smell and it's amazing because the smell is natural like there's no crap in here there's no artificial smells it is all natural smells and it is wonderful and um, it's really really good really really thick texture it's almost like it's almost like a body butter the texture like that's how thick it is and I will literally lather my hair in this or raw organic coconut oil before I wash it. So I wash my hair twice a week and I literally will lather this in my hair the night before. I'll braid it, steep in it, wash it out in the morning and it works a treat. So yeah, I'd highly recommend that. I'd highly recommend actually Faith in Nature in general. 
have previously used their um, what is it body lotion as well and that's really really good the only thing I would say with the body lotion is it took like it's, it's one of those ones where it takes ages to like rub in do you know what I mean it seems to like sit on your skin for a little while which is a little bit annoying if like you want to put clothes on quite quickly afterwards or if you're in a rush or whatever but again the smell from that is incredible so I would give that a go so on the topic of like moisturizing and keeping things nice and healthy I recently downloaded an app called Yucca it's incredible I'd highly recommend it I think it's free to download from the app store it's got like a little carrot icon and basically you can scan like all of your um, toiletries beauty products cleaning products and um, I think food products as well and it basically tells you how toxic they are and like what chemicals are in them and what they actually mean <laughs> because there is no way I can pronounce a lot of the chemicals that they put into some of the products we use and if you think about it our body you know our skin is so absorbent it is highly absorbent and what gets absorbed through our skin will end up in our bloodstream so if you're not if, if you're not prepared to eat something if you wouldn't put it in your mouth why would you put it on your skin like I, I just don't understand anyway I went down the rabbit hole of like blitzing through my whole bathroom and scanning the life out of all of my stuff and I realized that moisturizers are actually really bad. They have a lot of stuff in them that really isn't good for you, particularly petroleum. So sorry if you're a lover of Vaseline, but it's really not that good for you. I found this off of Amazon. So this is organic jojoba oil. I know it's spelled jojoba, but I think you say it jojoba. It's a mouthful. But this is insane. I love using this. I use it every morning, every evening, and it comes in this lovely like amber glass bottle which is beautiful um, and yeah I cannot like rave about this enough it's perfect for moisturizing your body moisturizing your hands your feet you can even put a little bit of it, of it in your hair um, you know after styling pre-styling after you've washed it um, it's it's insane and it has so many different purposes so I would definitely recommend that keeping on the topic of kind of hair and oils I did also pick up this organic argan oil from Neil's yard so I actually found this on Vinted. So if, if you're looking for products like Neil's Yard products, like I love Neil's Yard products, but they are quite expensive. So I actually find them on Vinted and a lot of people are selling them um, like completely unopened. Like this had like, you know, like the plastic sealant around the top. So I knew that it hadn't been opened. And yeah, I got it from there and it's really, really good. Again, this is really great for your nails, your hair, even your skin as like a hand moisturizer. I really, really love using that. I also picked up these two products from Vinted too. So this first one is basically a body scrub. It is a rose and geranium and geranium is my favorite like scent. It just smells incredible. So I'm, I haven't used this yet, but it smells incredible and I've kind of, you know, felt the texture of it and it, it seems to be really, really good. It's again, it's the actual exfoliating pieces a shell and rice powders so you know there's no horrible like plasticky crap in this it, it's all good and again with this so this is garden mint and bergamot hand cream so yeah that's really really good I use this every day it's in my desk drawer that I use before I start work um really really love it a little goes a long way I will say that so you know you don't have to get like the biggest bottle in the world it will last you and the next Neil's Yard thing I got, I did actually get this full price in the shop, but it, they may have it on Vinted as well. So it is this Pure Essence, it's a frankincense perfume basically. Now there is a lot, there are a lot of issues with perfumes. Um, I think it's parabens, I think, that are in, um, and phthalates, I think, I think it's parabens and phthalates that are in perfumes that are really, really bad for you and bad for your skin. Because obviously you spray perfume directly on your skin um, and all those nasty chemicals are getting absorbed into your body. Not good. I think, I don't think this is necessarily non-tox, but I think it is a low tox perfume. And it smells absolutely, oh, it smells insane. It's very much like, like a rich kind of unisex perfume actually. I think this would work on both men or women. This was a little bit expensive. This was 45 pounds. But again, it's one of those perfumes where a little does go a long way. So now um, we're gonna go down a bit more of like budget options. So I actually found this soap in B&M. Um, so this is 100% pure. 
handmade natural olive oil soap. So I think this is like a quid in B&M. It's really, really cheap. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't smell the nicest, but I scanned this on the Yucca app and it was like, I think it was like 100 out of 100, like really, really good um, top rating, the best rating you can get for that basically. I also picked up these two lip balms. So this is Dr. Paw Paw, I think that's how you say it. It's Paw Paw from that Jungle Book song, doesn't Baloo say, does he eat a Paw Paw? I think he does. Anyway, sidetracking. Yeah, I picked these balms up from, I actually got these from TK Maxx, but you can get them from Amazon. You can get them, I think you can get them at Boots and places like that. But this is basically 98% natural ingredients in this. And it's essentially just like a tint you can use for like your cheeks, your lips, your skin, maybe even like on your eyelids. I think that would be really, really nice. That I love the corally colors, but it's got loads of different colors. It's got like a nice kind of deep chocolatey brown color. Um, it's got clear, it's got all sorts of different ones. I think it's got like a pinky one. And then a little bit of skincare. So this is actually from The Ordinary. So I think this is like a fiver. It's really inexpensive. This is 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. <laughs> I, as I said, I have oily skin and I was petrified of using more oils. I can use this on my skin and it's really, really good for it. It just keeps me really, really hydrated. And as I said, because it's just been winter, your skin gets really dry, but this has been incredible. Um, and it's, it kind of, I think it's meant to help with like spot scarring or acne scarring. So yeah, I definitely recommend that. And you know, it's hundred percent organic cold pressed as well is meant to be a really good thing. Okay. So I have actually done a massive order, um, with one of my favorite companies, but I'm hoping that this will last us like a year basically, because we normally do a big bulk order on Wild when they have like discounts on. Um, I think they recently had one on for Valentine's Day. I will link everything I can below. So ooh, I'm gonna unbox this with you now just to show you what we got and basically talk you through everything. Okay, so we've got some, oh, I'm so clumsy. This is where I spill it all. It's really nice packaging, very colorful, very bright and colorful. So in the first little box, we've got some, oh, these are the deodorant refills. So these are in, insane. I love these. This is called Linen and Lilac Deodorant Refill. So what you do with these is you have a case. So this is my case. This case is like uh, two years old now, so it's a bit minging. <laughs> it's a bit battered. Um, but essentially what you do is you put the refill, you unscrew the case, put the refill in and then screw the case back up and that's how you use the deodorant. It's really, really moisturizing and gentle on your underarm. Like a lot of spray on and roll on deodorants from a lot of mainstream brands actually have aluminum particles in them, which helps block your pores in your armpits. And that's so bad for you. Like we are meant to sweat because it helps get rid of toxins from our body, right? And then we put these things on us every day that basically block our pores. So our skin can't breathe properly and it can't get rid of toxins. So that just builds up in the body and can lead to health problems potentially. So we've got some more smells here. So this is, oh, purple rain. It's like a, it's quite a masculine smell. It's the packaging. That's really lovely. So we've got another row here. And then I think we've got some soaps, um, which I've not tried the soaps before. Yeah, here we go. Vegan soap here. So I'm gonna give these a go, but these look absolutely lovely. And this is the scent, fresh cotton and sea salt, made with over 94% natural ingredients. So, oh, so it just smells so nice. And then I think these are shampoo bars. Yes, they are. So I haven't used a shampoo bar before. I'm quite intrigued to see how I get on with them. It smells nice. This is jasmine and mandarin shampoo bar with sweet almond and jojoba oil. Do you know what I mean? Everybody knows jojoba oil is good for the hair. So I've not used shampoo um, bars before, but I do have quite a lot of hair. So I don't know if it's gonna cut it, but we'll see. If not, my partner can use it. He'll, 
it's enough for his hair. <laughs> and then the thing that I am most excited about is the shower gel. So I think this is a new thing for Wild. So they're like these, oh, look at this packaging. It's so pretty, look. Can you see that? <laughs> I've got my marketing head on now. That's my day job. So I'm like, mm, great packaging. So this is the refillable bottles. Thunderstorm is the scent we got. It smells nice. Again, as I was saying earlier, there's a lot of stuff um, and chemicals that aren't good for us in shower gels, which is why we have made a little bit of an investment in these. Um, I will let you guys know over on my Instagram how I get on with them. I, you know, if, if the deodorant is anything to go by, I have a feeling that I'm gonna enjoy working with, like using these. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. This is the like little, um, I mean, decanter, I suppose you could say, that you use. So we'll set one up now. So I think you unscrew the lid. Oh, it's got instructions on the lid of the box. So we take the pump out. I swear I spill it everywhere. Un unscrew that. Pop that in. Ooh, it's very snug. It's very snug. It's quite pleasing. Screw that up. And then I think this obviously screws into that. It's like DIY. <laughs> And there you go. <laughs> if you've seen my um, Where to Put Christmas in Your Home video, you'll know that we like basically have a black, white, and like forest green theme in our house, which is why I went for the black case. Um, I think they've got loads of different colors, but that just, these just kind of go with our bathroom the best. But I think that looks really good, nice and sleek. Okay, so the final section is basically like cleaning stuff um, and laundry detergents and all that kind of thing. Quite a short one, so don't worry. Not too much longer. Just had to go downstairs to get some of these things and I'm out of breath now. <laughs> okay, starting off with one of my favorite things actually, and that is eCover. It's one of my favorite brands for low tox, better for the environment stuff, especially cleaning stuff. So we buy our laundry detergent and our fabric softener in bulk. I think this is, five liters, which lasts like, I mean, there's only two of us. It lasts like three, four months. Um, but you can get them again from Amazon. I get these from, and I get them like on the subscription thing. So they're delivered like on routine, if that makes sense. And what I do with the fabric softener is I make my own sort of fabric refresh. I think we've all seen, you know, if you're from the UK, you'll be familiar with Mrs. Hinch using her fabric softener and washing it down and squirting it, you know, as like a, your DIY version of something like Febreze or whatever onto your furniture to just give it a bit of a refresh. You know, we have lots of pets in this house, so this is always really, really useful. But what I do is I kind of supplement it with essential oils. So I have actually done a full story on this on my Instagram, but um, I essentially pick whatever essential oils I want, put it into a glass jar, put in some fabric softener, wash it down, give it a shake, and just squirt it on like my sofas, any upholstery, any curtains, rugs, that sort of thing. And it smells really, really good. And it's not bad for you to breathe in either. So yeah, that's that's a, a good cleaning tip. We also buy the e-cover um, washing up liquid in bulk in these big five liter tubs as well. That's in the garage though, so I'm not committing to getting that. <laughs> you can just visualize it. <laughs> On the Native e-cover, we also use this cleaner. This smells, lemongrass and orange, smells insane. It's so good. It, this is basically like the multi-surface cleaner. So we use this in the kitchen, bathroom, all that kind of thing. It smells incredible, does a really, really good job. And again, I buy this in the big five liter tub and just decant it and water it down a little bit into this um, squirty bottle that I've had for like a year now. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend checking that out. I think they are really, really good products. Another brand that I really enjoy using is Method. I think a lot of people are au okay fait with this. So this is the glass cleaner. This is non-toxic, yeah, surface cleaner in the scent mint. I also have like the bathroom cleaner in this, the toilet cleaner. Um, I know you can get a wooden floor cleaner. This is a really, really good brand. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. My office is now a wreck. <laughs> It looks like like an Amazon tooth fairy has been along and just delivered loads of stuff in here. So I need to go clean this up. 
but I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. We are, I'm gonna be like mixing in more kind of videos like this, more kind of lifestyle-y stuff, as well as obviously staying true to my roots with the crystal healing things. But I think it's interesting to diversify and there's lots of other bits and bobs going on in my life and other passions I have that I'd love to talk about on this channel all along, you know, a similar theme of kind of spiritual, holistic, natural living, basically. Clues in the name, see what I did there? <laughs> anyway, I will leave you to your day and stop bothering you. Have a lovely rest of your day. Stay happy and blessed be.